This video is sponsored by PotownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. Whether you're looking for that last card to complete your online deck or just to get the latest booster packs in town, they literally have everything. And you can use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% off on your complete order. Then there's also CardMarket.com. This is a European platform where you're able to buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. I personally use it every single day to get rid of cards that I don't need to get the cards that I really need for competitive tournaments. Also, this video is sponsored by yourplaymat.com. This is a website to create your own custom playmat. Ideal for the new season, upload your favorite wallpaper or unique logo and they turn it into a beautiful playmat. You can get 10% off by clicking the link down below and they ship worldwide, so definitely check it out. Last but certainly not least is dragonshield.com. There are links down below for Europe and US people all alike and you're gonna be able to, of course, buy uh, sleeves, binders and deck boxes, which of course, Dragon Shield is the best uh, brand out there to protect those beautiful cards. The, the the sleeves are very good. As you can see, they shuffle really well and I definitely recommend everybody getting a couple of these sleeves. Thanks for sticking around with the commercials and I'll see you guys soon. Peace! What's up YouTube, it's Zabdoos TCG here and welcome back to our TCG video on my channel. On this channel you get daily Pokemon TCG content so be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. We're going to be checking out of course some cards that we're going to be getting in the Silver Tempest set coming out on uh, November 11th worldwide. And that's going to be revolving around Lugia, V-Star and more. So look at this beautiful artwork of the set. I li like the fact that it's just super detailed. We see uh, the Archeops, some unknowns which actually spelled the V-Star, by the way, these Inos, and Reggie Ilecki, which is cool because I actually played Reggie Ilecki at the Bilbao Special Event and got top 8, so I have some soft spot in my heart for the Reggies now, which is uh, very cool. So, uh, as you can see here, uh, the new set actually came out in Japan, or actually will come out in Japan on uh, October 21st, so uh, that's actually uh, in one month's time, so we have a little bit of a, an understanding on how these cards will work and uh, which new cards we will be getting. So the Paradigm Trigger is actually the new set that will be also focusing on item cards like stool cards that have V-Star attacks, they will have some, uh, yeah, interesting fossil Pokemon like Archeops and uh, the Regis will be there as well as well as unknown uh, V and unknown V-Star which have very crazy attacks for sure. So as you can see, these will be the, the booster pack artworks for Japan and uh, yeah, we've already gotten uh, to taking a look at the uh, Silver Tempest booster pack artwork and booster box, how they look like. We're actually going to be getting these in uh, not too many months from now, actually it's going to be uh, November 11th which means about like one uh, big month and like two weeks and boom we have another new set so that's actually ridiculous. That we, it also just feels that we just got Lost Origin. So. Uh, we're gonna have all these cards and we're gonna be giving my first impressions on these cards in this video. If you guys are hyped for today's video, be sure to let me know by rocking the hell out of the like button as it helps out in many, many ways. And I'm super, super grateful if you would do so. So uh, let's just get this started. started. Big shout out to uh, Antoine Brulé from, uh, yeah, for uh, getting, of course, these translations ASAP. And also, I was only able to make this video right now because I had, uh, yeah, a crazy drive of 12 hours from Bilbao all the way back home. So a uh, little bit of understanding why this video was a little bit later than all others. So, um, yeah, let's start out with Lugia V-Star. This is going to be a new archetype coming from the Silver Tempest set that you definitely want to be uh, taking a look at because Carlos types have it great, yeah, right? We have Dunsparce to get rid of our weakness, we have Chair and Scare to heal ourselves completely, and we have a lot of special energies that can work really well with Luya V-Star, for instance, powerful Carlos energy and more. First of all, why is this card great? It's because of its ability here, because of the Star Assembly. During your turn, you may put up to two Carlos Pokemon that don't have rule boxes on them, directly onto your bench. So from the discard pile, all the way on the bench. So uh, very, very crazy because you're gonna actually be able to uh, put stage two Pokemon that don't have a roll box instantly from the discard pile onto play. That is gonna be very crazy because there's a lot of stage twos that we now have to take uh, into consideration when we're gonna be making a Lugia V-Star deck. I love that this is an ability because the Archeops, let's just go uh, straight from the way with the Archeops, more cards we're gonna be talking about later, but this Archeops is a stage two Pokemon, it's a fossil Pokemon, which is, the fossil mechanic is very, very bad by the way. Uh, getting this in play takes a whole heap of time, getting the fossil out and rare candy and stuff, but with the uh, Lugia V-Stars, 
uh, star assembly ability you're gonna be able to of course just discard Archeops with an ultra ball or research and then summon it from the discard pile that's gonna be as easy as pie and why do we want Archeops it states once during your turn you may search your deck for up to two special energy and attach them to one of your Pokemon then shuffle your deck so uh, any two special energies there's like powerful cars energy there's the lucky energy there is uh, so many great special energies in the format right now there's the gift energy even if you get knocked out you can draw into seven so so many uh, special uh, great special energies in the format make Archeops great even the DTE could help out uh, to just uh, get this Lugia set up ASAP let's say you go first you have Lugia don't even have the attach of the turn who cares but you're able to of course discard Archeops and the following turn evolve into Lugia V star are, bam summoning two double turbos and you're off to the races to just take prize cards or even better you start your turn just have powerful cars energy attachment of the turn and the following turn another powerful cars energy attachment and Archeops gets the rest of them and then you slap for your one hit KOs with choice bell etc so uh, a strong card and you say like ah oh, this card is weak to lightning uh, it shares the weakness uh, of Palkia well that's not great flying Pika will slap it uh, Reggie Lecky will slap it well, that's not true because we have Dunspar. So a very strong new archetype coming from the Silver Tempest set, Lugia V-Star. And look at this artwork. This is just a regular V, but the artwork looks like it's an alt art. That's how good this alt art, uh, I should use uh, this art is, uh, by the way. Um, and they're actually been made by uh, Michi Michishiro Arita. So uh, one of the most uh, known artists in the Pokemon TCG community. So we have um, Lugia V, read the wins, discard a card from hand if you do draw three cards. So that's actually not bad going second if like you have nothing else to do you can at least uh, stack your hand with like new cards right just drawing cards is great and also you can discard the stadium with its uh, second attack although its second attack is actually not that great Lugia V-Star on the other hand is such a great archetype will be nice to just uh, make something you can also like pair it up with something like a Blizzy and then Archeops and then get all the energy onto a Blizzy attack with Blizzy Ugh, so many capabilities we'll have to check to all the stage 2's from Sword and Shield all the way to the latest set to just know what we're gonna be making with Lugia V-Star Next is Unknown V-Star reminds me of the spell of the unknown Great movie, by the way. <laughs> so uh, look at the the uh, unknown V star. All the letters spell out V star, by the way. V star. So if you can look at that V star, that's how it is. The unknowns, and they come with a seventy damage multiplier. Flip three coins. This attack does seventy damage for every head. So <laughs> coin flipping. Glimwood Tangle Yolo ness for one energy. I like at most probably you have like two hundred and ten. If you are high rolling, but if you just have an average, you're probably gonna be slapping 70 or 140. Which is not that great, but with Choice Belt, 140 turns into 170, which means you can hit Pokemon like Luminion. But yeah, it's, I don't believe in this card quite yet. But it does have a V Star power, the Star Cipher. Until this Pokemon leaves play, it gains an ability that has the effect all of your opponent's Pokemon have a weakness to Psychic. That could be interesting, let's say. You can actually pull it off. The problem I see here instantly is that they are gonna boss it up because 250 HP for a V Star is actually on the lower end, so that's not great for this card. But you can turn any uh, Pokemon's weakness into Psychic. You're better off playing decks that one shot, regardless, like Kieran V Max or something. But this is something uh, rogue and fun to test out. But I like the unknown V though. Unknown V, the victory symbol. Uh, it actually is a V. Hilarious. A gnome V. Get it? Uh, if you have exactly one prize card remaining, you win the game. That's the attack. Nothing else. It's just, if you have exactly one prize card remaining, you can uh, decide to win the game. Very funny because the unknowns back in the days did that as well. Who remembers like unknown hand and all that. We did make a video about that. Definitely check that out. Like back in the days, it was hilarious. So in this situation there's a lot of ways you can get this off melanie dte you win the game so maybe in specific decks you can try this out like oh i don't have the boss to get, take my last prize card well who cares quick ball unknown melanie dte boom i win the game <laughs> very funky also will work out uh, wonders against some, something like stone journer decks uh, or, or what mewtwo v union decks if they are still a thing you can actually just oh the opponent only has one prize card remaining i cannot hit mewtwo v union or actually one hit ko it well no problem here's a known v i win the game i will definitely try this out because i, I just stating yourself i win the game is just hilarious next is uh some tool cards that only are able to equip themselves to v pokemon yeah 
The, the V Pokemon this card is attached to can use a V Star power. So you have now V Star powers in the form of tool cards. Very, very cool to see that. We've seen that before with like attacks that you can use if you have a tool card. And this is only able to attach itself to V Pokemon. And just before you have like any questions, you can attach this to uh, V Pokemon, V Star Pokemon, V Max Pokemon, V Union Pokemon, just the V symbol in, in general. So we have this Star Alchemy. During your turn, you may search your deck for any card and put it in hand. So basically, computer search or half of a star birth. The funny fact actually is that with uh, there's an Oranguru V which allows you to just search your deck for any tool card if it's in the active slot. You're actually going to be able to uh, get this instantly. So uh, quick ball, put Oranguru V in the active slot and then uh, summon this card and out of nowhere you have a, a mini star birth package. <laughs> Starbirth is actually miles better because you can get two cards. But yeah, it's uh, the next best thing, right? Let's say you're just playing a V counter box deck like with Drapions. Like we've seen la yesterday with the Drapion V, with the Crobominable V. The deck that actually won the Singapore Regionals. Well, that deck is not playing V-Star Pokemon. So uh, you want to have a V-Star, that could be your uh, shot here. Attachment and then uh, during your turn you may search your deck for any one card. Hilariously good. Okay, next up is the Earth Tablet. This Pokemon V, uh, yeah, it can also be attached only to V Pokemon. Star Gravity, put damage counters on all of your opponent's V Pokemon until they have 100 HP remaining. Pretty much like the attack of the uh, Mewtwo V Star. Until they have 100 HP remaining. Is there something we can do with that? Like, let's say you basically slap 12 damage counters on most V Pokemon, right? So maybe with Lunala doubling that up, that would be hilarious. But I see less potential in this, although there's also a Mimikyu, which can slap more damage for every damage counter on all the opponent's Pokemon. So Earth Tablet and then slapping with Mimikyu's a very cute combo. We've already talked about Archeops. There's an Archon and an Unidentified Fossil, but... The fossil mechanic is just so bad that you're just gonna skip this entire evolution line. Just discard it and put it into play with Lugia V Star. There's Behem with a very funky artwork and it has an attack for uh, a twin energy. This attack does 60 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Yeah, that's not gonna be the best card ever for sure. Medicham with an ability. If you have exactly four cards in your hand, the Pokemon's attack costs is triple card's energy less. What? You can attack for free? And then if your opponent has a VMAX Pokemon to play, you slap 90 more damage. What? This may, means you can slap 170. This is the ideal counter for stuff like Urshifu VMAX. And now Zoroark from Evolving Skies has another buddy and into his arsenal. You now have Mightyena, you have Metacham, you have Slowbro, you have Flapple, you have so many great cards that can work with Zoroark. Can Zoroark finally become actually a tier 2 deck? At least, come on, t make it happen. Well, the cool thing is, uh, if you're making a counter box deck, this is actually pretty nice because although the opponent could just be, they can, they will probably will only work in uh, Zoroark based decks because otherwise the opponent might see it coming. So they might not evolve into their Urshifu V Max, and you know how it goes, but very cool to slap through uh, Psychic Weakness for so much damage. 170 is just one shotting all the. Yeah. Psychic weak V maxes. As long as this Pokemon on the bench prevents all damage done to this Pokemon. So that's also super nice because you cannot get sniped by Radiant Greninja. Hey, hey, that's nice. Togedimaru, metal type, utilizing lightning energies. Flip a coin if heads during your opponent's next turn, they take no prizes for knocking out this Pokemon. But they will rope around it, they will boss around it, they will snipe around it. <laughs> this is not too great. The Dene, also needing lightning energies. You may only use this deck if Togedemaru used the Togo Dash. Okay. Your opponent's active pole is now paralyzed. Yeah, these are just a funky weird archetype. Like, you have to use Togedemaru, follow it up by Dedene, follow it up by Pikachu. If Dedene used the D uh, DD shot, you can slap 180 damage. Maybe it's like a funny archetype, right? Togedemaru with a Marnie and then Glimwood Tangle. So, uh, yeah, they cannot take prize cards if they knock it out. If they don't have boss, it's great. Now you have the Dene to snipe some more damage here and there and uh, actually to slap damage and they're paralyzed and then Pikachu to finish it off. So it's a very funky archetype and they're all working together. It's gonna be another meme deck on the versus ladder for sure. And Morg Paco also joins the party. You may only use this deck if the Dene use DD shot. This attack does 60 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. <laughs> what? 60 to everything? Okay. So you always need to go for Togi Marwan to the Dene and then either into Pikachu or Morpeko. Very funky rogue archetype, I like it. 
Then we have Shaman. Shuffle up to two energy cards from your discard pile back into your deck. Uh, it's a shame that that is an attack. But I like the Token Dimaro meme deck and I like Manacham. And I just adore the fact that we have Lugia V-Star. We're gonna have to be doing a, ver a very dedicated video about what can work with Lugia V-Star. But that's only a small portion of what we're getting in the upcoming set Silver Tempest. Silver Tempest actually comes out on November 11th, which if I just take a look at how many weeks that is, that is just one month and one, two, three weeks. So uh, about seven weeks, boom, another new set. Pre-releases actually already start in like five or six weeks. So very excited for Silver Tempest, even though we still need to make decks for the upcoming regionals. And Lil, I have no idea what to play because I have not tested Lost Origin all that much. But we're going to be figuring out something together so we can try to uh, secure that world's invite for Yokohama. Anyhow, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video about our uh, yeah, new cards that we're getting in Silver Tempest. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to let me know by rocking the hell out of the like button. Helps out in ridiculous ways. And also... Uh, let me know in the comment section what your favorite card is that you've seen in today's video. For me personally, I would have to say Lugia V-Star. The, the uh, possibilities are endless. We have so many special energies and it works with Archeops. So like Archeops Lugia V-Star gets my brain already like ticking. Just uh, creating deck ideas here and there is going to be fantastic. The future looks bright because also we get those... Uh, Earth tablets and all that, which uh, give you V-Stars if you're a deck that do not re rely on V-Stars, which is nice. So uh, yeah, enjoy the, the rest of your day, folks. Go check out our sponsors, PokeTownStore.com, the best place for TCGO code cards. You can check out uh, Dragon Shield, your playmat, and card market. The links are respectfully down below. Anyhow, have yourself a fantastic rest every day, and I will see you guys tomorrow for more Pokemon TCG epicness. Peace.